for joining us this evening on TK08 Local News. Police are reporting that Garrett Jason Matlock of Jasper was arrested Monday after investigators found that he was under the influence of a controlled substance when his vehicle struck another uh, struck an, an, another in January, killing 24-year-old woman on Highway 412. Matic. Matlock faces one count of negligent homicide in the death of 24-year-old Megan Margaret, Margaret Ruth Browning of Faulkner County. According to the Arkansas State Police, Browning was killed uh, on the night of January the 15th while driving west on Highway 412 when an eastbound 2015 Ford vehicle crossed the center line and struck Browning's 2004 Lexus. Matlock is, is uh, suspected of having driven under the influence of a controlled substance at the time of that accident. Izzard County Sheriff Jack Yancey says that a, a drug sweep last week has led to the largest meth bust ever in Izzard County. According to Chief Deputy Ernie Brackwell, members of the Izzard County Sheriff's Department, the 16th Judicial Drug Task Force, Arkansas State Police, and Arkansas Game and Fish Department and Corrections Department individuals uh, were uh, executed a search warrant at the Pineville residence of 68-year-old Lawrence Arden Pinnell and 39-year-old uh, Amos uh, Louise Pinnell. The uh, According to the affidavit, the search yielded over two pounds of drugs, numerous items of drug paraphernalia, digital scales, and several loaded firearms, a stolen four-wheeler, and a boat valued at over $13,000 was also recovered during the search. Lawrence Pinnell was charged with multiple felonies and released on a recognizance bond, Amos Louise uh, Amos Lewis Pinnell uh, faces the same charges along with a felony charge for being a habitual offender having been convicted of four or more felony charges previously. He's being held in the Izzard County Jail on a $40,000 bond. Harrison Police are joining other law enforcement agencies across the state for the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over Traffic Enforcement Saturation starting today and running through July 4th. According to a press release, every day law enforcement officers work endless hours to keep community members safe. The uh, decisions that people make before getting behind the wheel of a car affect officers' work and drunk driving can be one of the deadliest factors. The release went on to say that in 2015, over 10,000 people were killed in drunk driving related crashes. Harrison Police Chief Paul Woodruff said, if you choose to head out to, on the 4th of July to a party and make a terrible decision to drink and drive, don't be mistaken if you get caught and are arrested. 29 Arkansans will have the opportunity to hunt for and harvest Arkansas elk during the public land elk hunts this October and November after being drawn during the annual Buffalo River Elk Festival. More than 3,000 applications from online registration taken in May filled the squirrel's cage on the center stage of the festival in Jasper last Saturday. 26 winners were chosen between the festival events to fill the available slots for this year's hunt. An additional three permits were reserved for on-site applicants only. This year, three lucky ladies also had their names pulled from the batch of on-site applications. And if you can't get enough large fireworks displays, the viewing area has you covered over the next several days. Independence Day celebrations and fireworks displays are planned for all over the viewing area this weekend, beginning on Saturday with a fireworks display at the Pride Park in Bakersfield. Other displays on Saturday will be in Mountain View at 
Jack's Resort. Plus, there will be free watermelon Sunday and at the Pontiac display will be held over the Bull Shoals Lake area at the Pontiac Cove Marina and Campground area. Also, in Mountain View, the Flatwoods Baptist Church will have a freedom celebration with fireworks. Then on Monday, the annual Lake North Fork Fireworks Association's display will be held over Lake North Fork beginning at dark. Flippin's annual fireworks show presented by the Flippin Fire Department will also be held Monday at the Hickey Park beginning at dusk. Calico Rock will have a fireworks and Independence Eve extravaganza as well. The annual show at the Earl King Park begins at dark and is hosted by the Calico Rock Lions Club. And then on Tuesday, the 4th of July, don't miss the big fire in the sky display here in Harrison. We'll be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region. But first, here's this week's closing livestock report with Sammy Klein. Brought to you by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. This is Sammy Klein, the Federal State Livestock Market News Service. We're in sale in the order of Arkansas Livestock Auction and Green Forest for Wednesday, June 28th. Cattle receipts, 1056 Last week, 1058 Year ago, 576 and compared to last week, feeder mix from $4 higher to $4 lower, generally steady to $2 higher. Slaughter cows and bulls steady to $1 higher. Notice, there will be no sale next week, so it'll be closed for the holiday. Feeder steer, mean large ones, 3 to 400 pounds, a few at 180 to 188. 4 to 500 pounds, 158 to 177. 5 to 600 pounds, 154 to 165. 6 to 700 pounds, 143 to 154. 7 to 800 pounds, a few at 137 to 140. Breeder heifer, medium large ones, 350 to 400 pounds, 154 to 158. 4 to 500 pounds, 138 to 149. 5 to 600 pounds, 132 to 140, 6 to 700 pounds, 127 to 138. Placement cows, medium large ones, 2 to 7 year old, 900 to 150 pounds, second to the third stage, a few at 76 to 102 per hundred. And 7 to 10 year old cows, second third stage, at 65 to 76. Jack F pairs. Medium large ones and two, two to seven year old, 900 to 150 pound cows, one 200 pound head aside, a few of the 1,025 to 1,150 per pair. Slaughter cows, boner 65 to 71, hydrous 72 to 80 to 50. Lean 63 to 68, hydrous 69 to 76, a low dress 1 to 59. Slaughter bull degraded ones and twos, 1,100 pound, 88 to 93, high dress 96 to 98 50, low dress. 79 to People around the country are noticing North Arkansas College as one of the best deals around. North Ark was just named one of the most affordable community colleges in the nation, costing about one-third of what you would pay at a university. This fall, North Ark is offering paid internships to help students earn while they learn. Explore the full list of fall classes at northark.edu and enroll today. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Ark first. We're your college. Stop and shop. These 4th of July savings are sizzling this week at Edwards Grocery. Select a varieties, bar as franks, two for one dollar. Pork steaks, only one forty nine per pound of the family packs. Red rye pole seedless watermelons, only two ninety nine each. Original or mesquite best choice charcoal briquettes, only four ninety nine. And select a varieties, Gatorade thirst quenchers, only seventy nine cents. You've waited and waited and waited. The paperwork is done. It's official. Opening this Saturday. The Station Bar and Grill. South 65 in Harrison. Formerly Agave's Restaurant. With live music every weekend and kicking it off. The award-winning Southbound Train. Hi folks, the Matt Man, Matt Duncan here. Inviting you personally to come out to the station for opening night. Lots of prizes and drink specials to be had. And even a free shuttle to get the drunks home. The Station. Highway 65 South in Harrison. All aboard!
Madison County woman has been arrested in connection with a suspected murder. According to Arkansas State Police, Madison County Sheriff's officials located the body of 63-year-old Gary Dean Johnson inside of a camper trailer near the Hinesville area. State police also arrested 35-year-old Candy George and transported her to the Washington Regional Detention Center where she was charged with capital murder. Johnson's body has been transported to the Arkansas State Crime Lab to confirm the matter and the cause of his death. Arkansas police say a two-year-old girl and a six-month-old boy have died after being found in a truck in a Saline County pond. Saline County Sheriff's Office says deputies were responding to a call about 10 p.m. Wednesday in the Parran area about a missing pickup truck with the two children inside. While en route, deputies were told by dispatchers that the truck was in a pond near the address. Police say the children were located and treated but later passed away. Saline County authorities say a 30-year-old man and a 26-year-old woman have been arrested on charges of endangering the welfare of a minor. The investigation is still ongoing. Police have arrested the mother of a toddler found dead in the back of an SUV parked the wrong way on a Northern California street. Police arrested 27-year-old Angela Fahm and her boyfriend, 46-year-old Utah Smith, both of Arkansas, for child endangerment. Police say their actions may have led to the death of the three-year-old girl in the Rancho Cadero area on Wednesday. Smith also has an outstanding warrant out of Arkansas. Police say the child did not have uh, obvious signs of trauma, and the coroner's office will determine the actual cause of death. Fahman and Smith are each being held on a $1 million bond each. An Arkansas judge has temporarily removed the police chief in Jacksonville amid questions over whether he's eligible to serve because of a misdemeanor conviction. The city hired Jeffrey Herwig in April after learning he pled guilty to a misdemeanor in Texas after being accused of leaving the scene of an accident. Alderman Tara Smith sought Herwig's removal on Thursday. Pulaski County Circuit Judge Alice Gray ordered him removed pending a trial. In the order, he can still work for the city, but not as the police chief. A Central Arkansas prosecutor has been nominated for a U.S. attorney post in the state. The White House announced Thursday that President Donald Trump has nominated Cody Highland to serve as U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Arkansas. Highland is currently the prosecuting attorney for the state's 20th Judicial District, which includes Faulkner, Van Buren, and Searcy Counties. Highland has formerly worked at the Arkansas Public Service Commission, the Arkansas Transitional Employment Board, and is a former legislative liaison and aide for former Governor Mike Huckabee. Before we take a look at the weather forecast as we head into the weekend, here's the way the stock market ended the week. It was a pretty active day weather-wise here in the Ozarks. Lots of pop-up showers and thunderstorms starting in the early morning hours and continuing on and off throughout the day and early evening. Most of those systems will likely move to the southeast as the uh, cool down and the overnight hours progress. Should have a pretty nice weekend, at least for the first part. Then we do have a slight chance of some thunderstorms coming back into the forecast in the latter part of the weekend. Here's the way it looks for tomorrow. Pretty nice day out there on Saturday if you have some outdoor activities or if you're going to some of the fireworks displays that we mentioned in one of our uh, early uh, newscasts, uh, you will notice that the weather's going to be pretty good. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow, expected around 84 degrees, uh, clearing by afternoon. Then on Sunday, uh, thunderstorms in the afternoon, particularly about 60% chance 
chance on Sunday. We may see some more rainfall, 84 degrees for an afternoon high. Likewise, on Monday, scattered thunderstorms in the area, 88 degrees and 60% chance of some moisture. By Tuesday, everything should be clear once again. That's the 4th of July, 90 degrees. So it's going to be a warm day if everything stays as forecasted. Partly cloudy skies on the 4th, 90 degrees in the area. Wednesday, partly cloudy skies and about 89 degrees. Maybe a little bit of rain over the weekend, hit and miss again, almost like today. Uh, so I don't think you'll see a total washout, uh, washout anywhere in the area. But tomorrow looks to be a great day, so get out and enjoy. Stay with us, being Mike in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TK08 News continues. Becoming a clinical medical assistant offers a quick transition from college to career. This fall, North Arc is offering a clinical medical assistant course to prepare you for the job in doctor's offices or health clinics. Clinical medical assisting is included in the Arkansas Future Scholarship, available for qualified applicants. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Arc first. We're your college. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Are you trying to get out and take in these beautiful days, but find that you end up sneezing, itching, and getting all sorts of bites or rashes? Don't let outdoor allergies, bugs, or poisonous plants keep you from enjoying all that the Ozarks has to offer this season. Stop in at Nature's Wonders and let us show you the products we carry that can help with the challenging parts of nature so that you can enjoy all the wonders. Find us on Highway 65 just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. Nature's Wonders, the natural living store. A pair of high school fishermen from Mountain Home had a rough outing uh, at uh, day two of the high school fishing world finals and national championships at Pickwick Lake in Alabama. Jay Gore, Jay Gore, excuse me, and Noah Boyette are currently on the 118th place slot in the national championship competition after not catching a fish on Thursday. They finished in 265th place in the world finals after catching one fish weighing three pounds and two ounces in their day two of fishing. The field was cut after Thursday's second round action. While Gore and Boyette are not in the finals, they were fishing today in the second chance consolation round. Michael Fulmer came within one out of a shutout and the Detroit Tigers hit three home runs in a 7-3 victory over the Kansas City Royals yesterday. Justin Upton, uh, uh, Ian Kishner, and Andrew Romeo went deep for the Tigers. And the St. Louis Blues have re-signed forward Magnus Pervetti to a one-year, one-way contract worth about $800,000. Blues General Manager Don Armstrong announced the deal yesterday afternoon. The 26-year-old Pernari split last season between the Blues and the Chicago Wolves of the American Hockey League. A U.S. wrestler who spent years in prison for a sexual assault uh, that he denies testified yesterday that he was pressured by his coach and lawyers to waive his right to a jury trial. Jordan Holm is seeking a new trial based on claims he received ineffective assistance from his attorneys. Holmes was convicted of sexually assaulting a University of Iowa student after an off-campus party back in 2002. Chila Choi and Ann Yang topped the KPMG Women's PGA Championship leaderboard yesterday when first round play in the major tournament was suspended because of lightning. Choi shot a 5 under 66 in the morning session and Yang was 5 under with a hole left when play was stopped at the Olympia Fields Country Club. And that wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area. James McGuire. Don't tell me you know how to make a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. Why, you got some? <laughs> 